In this lesson, you will learn about Ketchup's current law, which states that the algebraic sum of all currents entering and exiting a node must be equal to zero. So, what this means is that when you consider a node, okay, like this node that I have here, the algebraic sum of all the current moving towards the node and then the current moving away from the node must be equal to zero. So in this case, looking at this current here, I, I1 and then I2, you could see that what the current I here is moving, it's moving towards this node. And then I1 and I2 is moving away from this node. So what that means is that when you sum all these currents here, it must be equal to zero. And one thing you have to take into consideration is that when the current is moving towards the node, we consider it to be positive. And then when the current is moving away from the node, we consider it to be negative. So applying Ketchup's current law here, we say that the sum of the current entering and exiting a node must be equal to zero. Let's look at how that would be for this example that I have here. So you consider I here, okay. Looking at I here, you can see that it is moving towards the node. Okay, so it will be positive. That's I. And then looking at I1 here, it is moving away from the node so it will be what negative so that will be plus minus i1 okay plus considering i2 also it is moving away from the node so that's also negative so plus minus i sub 2 so all this should be equal to zero so opening the bracket okay we have what i minus i1 minus i2 will be equal to what? Zero. That's what Ketchup's current law says. So you can write this equation as i equals the sum of what i1 and then i2. So that, that would be i equals to what? i1 plus i2. Okay, it's the same thing. So let's look at this example also. So Ketchup's current law says that the sum of the current entering and then exiting the node must be equal to zero. And then we know that the current entering the node is considered to be positive and then the, the current moving away from the node is considered to be what? negative. So let's write down the equation here. So that will be I sub 1. Okay. And then I2 is also moving towards the node. So that will be plus. I sub 2 and then I sub 3 is moving away so that will be plus negative I sub 3 and then I sub 4 is also moving away so that will be plus negative I sub 4 I sub 5 is also moving away so that will be plus minus I sub 5 and then I sub 6 is moving towards the node. That will be plus I sub 6. So all this should be equal to 0. So simplifying this, we will have what? I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4. Minus I5, then plus I sub 6, that's I6, to be equal to 0. That's what Ketchup's current law says. Okay, so let's try our hands on some examples so that we can understand this law better. I have this example here, so let's sum up the Current moving towards the node and then the current moving away from the node. So these two amperes moving towards the node, so that will be 2. Okay. 
And then this three ampere is moving away, so that'll be minus three. And this six is also moving towards it, so that'll be plus six. And coming to this side, the five ampere is moving towards the low, so that'll be plus five. And then the seven is moving away, so that'll be minus seven. And then the i is also moving away, so that'll be minus i. So this should be equal to zero. Okay, so let's sum all this up. So two minus three, that's minus one plus five, sorry, plus six, that would be what? Five, plus five, that would be 10, minus seven, that would be what? Three, so I have what? Three minus i to equal to zero. So making i the seven, that would be what? Minus i would be equal to what? Minus three. So I divide both sides by negative one. So I divide by negative one, divide by negative one. So I then cancel out. So this will give me i to be equal to 3 amperes. Okay. And then looking at i here, it is pointing away from this node here. But the answer you got was a positive answer. So which means that i is a, what, a positive current and then not a negative current. So if you are to redraw this diagram here, instead of this arrow pointing away from the node, it is rather going to point towards the node. Okay, so I'm going to apply the same set of current law here. We are going to sound the current moving towards the node and then the current moving away from the node and then weight it to zero and then calculate for the unknown value. So this three ampere is moving towards this node here. So that will be a positive current. So that will be three. And then the i is moving away from this node. So that will be negative. So that will be minus i. And the two ampere is also moving towards this node. So that will be plus two. Ampere. And then coming to this this side, the two ampere is moving towards the nose. So that'll be plus two. Okay. And then the five ampere is also moving towards the nose. So that'll be plus five. And this four ampere is moving away. So that'll be minus four ampere. And all this should be equal to zero. Okay. So simplifying this, I have. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5. Okay, so adding this up, this will give me this will give me 8. So I have what minus i plus 8. Okay, this will be equal to 0. So that will be minus i equals minus 8. So dividing both sides by negative 1. Dividing both sides by negative 1. This will give me This will give me i to be equal to 8 amperes. Okay, which is a positive value here. And we said what? When the current is moving towards the node, it is positive. And then when it is moving away from the node, it is negative. And since we got this 8 amperes here to be a positive current, that means that the current i here is actually moving towards the node and not moving away from the node. Let's try our hands on the last question. Okay, so you can choose to pause this video and then try the question and afterwards you compare the answers. Okay, so same method you are going to apply here. So you are going to sum the current moving towards the node and the current moving away from the node. So considering I here, I is moving towards the node, so how about I? Okay, and this 2 ampere is also moving towards the node, so that will be plus 2 ampere. Okay, and then this 5 ampere is also moving towards the node, so that was plus 5 ampere. And then this 4 ampere is moving away, so that was minus 4 ampere. And then this 6 ampere is also moving away, so that was minus 6 ampere. And all this should be equal to 0. Okay, so adding this up, that will be i plus, so we have what, 2 plus. 5 that's 7 minus 4 that's 3 and then 3 minus 6 that would be what minus 3 so we have what i minus 3 this should be equal to what 0 so i then get what i to be equal to 3 ampere which is a positive value and then in this case you see that what 
the current eye is actually moving towards the loop so you can you, you will have to maintain the direction here if you are to redraw this diagram so that's how to apply the Ketchup's current law thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell